Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write algebraic expressions, so expressions with variables. We'll start with expressions with one operation and then move on to some expressions with two operations. The ability to understand these phrases or any situation where we are applying math and being able to apply the correct operation and problem solving skills is very important. This is a key to a solid foundation in algebra and math in general. Now recognizing key words is going to be necessary when writing algebraic expressions. So let's jump into our examples and start with number one, where we have the product of nine and M. So product is going to be our keyword. It means the answer to a multiplication problem. So we know this is going to be multiplication nine times M. Now M is our variable. It's a letter that represents a value we do not know yet. So an unknown. Let's go through some different ways that we can write algebraic expressions that involve multiplication. Now this first one we want to avoid and that's using an X to represent our multiplication symbol. Now we want to avoid this so we don't have any confusion because this can mean two things, 9XM where we have an algebraic expression with two variables, x and m, or does it mean nine times m? So let's avoid using that. Our other options, well, the first one, we can use 9m. So a number next to a variable represents multiplication. Another option would be using an asterisk. So something that looks like this represents multiplication as well. Another option, using a filled in circle or dot represents multiplication. And then lastly, we can use parentheses. So anytime we have a number next to parentheses, that represents multiplication as well. Let's move on to number two, where we have a number X divided by 12. So this is going to be division. So we can write this out X divided by 12. We can do X divided by 12, or we can do a slash X divided by 12. So some different options for division as well. Number three, seven less than R. Now this one, we switch the order and we need to think less than. We are taking seven less than R. So this is going to be subtraction and it's going to be R minus seven less than. So whenever we see less than, we actually switch the order. So the R comes first and the seven comes second. We are taking seven less than that R. So switch that order. Number four, the sum of W and 55. So sum is our keyword there. And that's the answer to an addition problem. So this is going to be addition. W plus 55. On to number five, where we have the difference of C and 38. So our keyword difference, well, that's the answer to a subtraction problem. So this is going to be subtraction C minus 38. So in the case of that subtraction algebraic expression, we keep the order C first, 38 second, as opposed to number three, where we switch that order. That's because we had that less than. So pay attention to wording when it comes to these algebraic expressions. Number six, we have a number Y increased by 10. Increased is our keyword. 
that means that we are going to use addition. So y plus 10. On to number 7, 21 times a number g. So multiplication. So let's use a number next to our variable. Remember, that represents multiplication. So 21g represents 21 times g. Lastly, number 8, the quotient of 46 and x. Now, quotient is our keyword. It means the answer to a division problem. So this is going to be division, 46 divided by x. So let's represent this using a fraction, and this is a division problem, 46 divided by x. So there are some examples of writing expressions with one operation. Let's move on to some expressions with two operations. We will start with number one, where we have the sum of a number x and eight, then multiply by 10. Let's break this down and figure out what we need to do first. And the first thing that we need to do is the sum of a number x and eight. Our key word is sum. That means the answer to an addition problem. So we are going to add x plus eight. X plus eight. I'm going to use parentheses to show that we have to do that first based on the order of operations. So use parentheses to show what you need to do first. Now secondly, we need to then multiply by 10. So let's multiply by 10. There are different ways to represent multiplication within algebraic expressions and math in general. So for this one, I'm going to use the filled in circle or dot there. So x plus eight within parentheses times 10. That would represent that phrase. Now we can also do, let me rewrite this, x plus eight within parentheses, and the 10 can come first because the order of operations here, we would have to do the x plus eight within those parentheses, and then we would multiply by 10. And remember, anytime you have a number next to parentheses, it represents multiplication. So there can be more than one correct answer for these algebraic expressions. Now, one incorrect answer for number one that I want to show you would be x plus 8 and then multiply by 10. This would be incorrect because of the order of operations. We would have to do multiplication first, so we would have to do 8 times 10, and then add x. x plus 8 has to be within parentheses in order to show that that's what we do first. So something to keep in mind there. Let's move on to number 2, where we have the quotient of 25 and a number y increased by a number m. Let's start with the quotient of 25 and a number y. Quotient is going to be our keyword. It means the answer to a division problem. So we are going to do 25 divided by y. So 25 divided by y. And I'm going to put this within parentheses to show that that's what we do first. I also want to mention that there are other ways to represent division as well, such as writing the division problem as a fraction or using a slash. So we have the quotient of 25 and a number y represented. Now we need to do our second step, which is increased by a number m. Increased is our keyword, and this means that we are going to add m. So plus m. And that's our algebraic expression. We can also write it without parentheses, though, because due to the order of operations, we need to do division before addition. So 25 divided by y plus m. 
would be correct as well. Again, because due to the order of operations, we need to do division before addition. So we would have to do 25 divided by y first and then add m. Let's move on to number three, where we have subtract a number w from 81, then divide by two. So we need to subtract w from 81 first. So 81 minus w. We are taking w from 81. So we switch that order there. And I'm going to put it within parentheses to show that that is what we need to do first. Then we divide by two. So divide by two. Now another way we can write this, we can do 81 minus w, put that in parentheses, and then we're going to write this as a fraction. So 81 minus w in parentheses over two, that represents division as well. So something to keep in mind. Lastly, number four, we have five times the difference of 33 and a number x. So we need to find the difference of 33 and x and then multiply that by 5. So we need to find the difference of 33 and x first. Difference is our keyword. It means the answer to a subtraction problem. So the first thing that we need to do is find the difference of 33 and x. So 33 minus x. 33 minus x. Put that within parentheses here to show that that's what we do first. And we need to do five times that. So we can do five times that, or we can do five times that afterwards. So five times the difference of 33 and a number x. I would highly suggest after you write out your algebraic expression, double or even triple check it with that original phrase to see if they match. So there you have it. There's how you write algebraic expressions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.